Alright, recording is officially back on. Dr. Wiley's latest invention, the distraction. It's been one thing or another. Out of that, phone calls, missing cords, so it's on and so forth. It's all Wiley. Yep, and now heading on to the next Doc Robot like boss mixture. This fusion is absolutely nasty, but I laughed at it so hard when I first saw it. That's so mean. Precise jumps coupled with really quick movement. It's actually very possible to just bust your own. You've got to, like, really know his pattern. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't really remember his pattern that well, so... Basically, he jumps around a few times, and he throws the leaves down, and then you've got to jump over him as he does the leaf shield and have a high enough jump to get over the, both him and when he throws the shield. It's possible, but it's very hard. So I wouldn't bust right only if you're not confident about it, and I don't blame you because it is probably the most difficult one, barring the next one you're going to end up fighting. I really wish I had Rush back right about now. You have Pseudo Rush. Or not really at all, but, you know, Dust I don't, I don't know if that was worth it or not. That no, didn't work. Whatever, whatever helps, right? Yeah, I don't want to use one of the tanks, although I know I'll get a nice cache of them. I kept. I wanted to tell you, jump up in the corner there, and I was like, oh, this isn't DuckTales, a gem won't appear. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one's the nastiest one of them all. Oh, actually, no, I think Quick Man Woodman was the worst one. This is the second worst. Because that's two Needlemans. And if you know Needleman, You'll know that he's notorious for one of the hardest bosses in Mega Man 3, if not the hardest. Beyond Shadow Man, I lied. There's Shadow Man. <laughs> Alright. Well, Didn't work the, as well the, as you hoped. Where the attempt? Where the attempt? Mega Man 1 Joes are probably the trickiest ones in the series. If you want my opinion on it, they were like the most elaborate and complicated ones. Well, that's because they, they. Honestly, they were had the least weaknesses. Well, they don't have a pattern, they just, you have to wait for them to shoot, and then you gotta shoot and react to them. Which is weird, because every other Sniper Joe, despite being a more advanced model, did not stack up to the first model. Also, reliberate me, just to be sure. Because I don't know if that carries over, and you really... Yeah, it does. Well, I'll just do it again, I want to see if it'll happen. Look, you always gotta be paranoid in video games. Besides, you wanna kill that Joe anyway. Yeah. Why not use the dust on him? See if he converts to an E-Tank, because that can happen. As a, from what I've done, it, it's been really infrequent at best. It's a very small, random item generation. It's a gamble, but I mean... They it, take a lot of hits with the charge shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, Beat's already gone at this point. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I just had to be sure. Yeah. Uh, it's good the game remembers that and uh, carries it over. Oh yes. It's not like Paper Mario 2 where you have to watch the cutscene every time. Never mind. I don't know if you were there for that part. It just turned an energy item into a frog. Yes, it can do that too. It can, yeah. Toad is a mixed bag. It very uh, mixed. Right. <laughs> you know, I would wonder if Skull would work, but I think it's... What was this guy's weakness? I know they, they do have weaknesses, I still remember. Yeah. Admittedly, my memory on that one's a little more rusty. I guess, like, who would expect these things to put a beat? Yeah. No, it's but definitely yeah. not. The nastiest part of this fight, well, actually, no, the first part's the nastiest part, but the second part of this fight's work is kind of interesting. <laughs> no. No, I like can't how they, use... when they jump, they jump to your side and do the little headbutt thing. They basically, like, twin up and do that. That's pretty cool. Now the second part, now Needle Man's alone, but his needle's now ricochet. Which is just like the Gemini laser, except twice as irritating because they're very fast. No, in this case I will want to use it, just... I just want to get this one done with. This game is eating your... eating your soul. Come now. Yeah. Now for... Oh great, another one, right? Final great jumping. <laughs> Is it really the last one in the game? That's the last jumping of the game. Oh, I'm gonna miss that guy. So it's the last Eddie in the game. And now we up. face 
the BS boss of the evening. <laughs> uh, really, that one's the BS boss? I guess. Not BS so much as how do I do this? I mean, it's all possible, but. Are you ready for Mega Man to turn into a game genre that I really don't like? It is now Wily's Toho Machine. People call it bullet hell, I call it bullet crap. I call Toho underage excuses. And I call this boss interesting an idea, but horrible in concept. And execution. But I mean, some attacks are cool, like that spinning laser one's alright. But that's like, that's normal Wily stuff right there. So that spinning laser is okay. Because that's something you would see in a Mega Man game. But then he does like the Toho crap, and it's like, stop, please. Yeah, dive is what I ended up using to do. I somehow got lucky in one with the bus. Somehow. With a lucky critical hit, I think. Something like that. Or with the last shot of the dive that I had on me. Oh. How much health? See, like, is Shadow Man after this? Would you fight him after this? I don't know when the modified or the added Shadow Man battle is. If it's after this, then that's really absurd. Like, it was absurd before, but it, it should not be after this. Look at this. What is... How are you... You're dodging more than I ever have in this fight. And I don't even think you're doing it intentionally. You're probably just, like, walking around going, Stop, Wily. Oh, no. Not happening. No, there are no miracles in Wily then. Not when Dr. Wily can fill the screen with everything in a matter of that long. Seconds. Now I'm in also, trouble. I really I, don't have I, a lot of shots left. I know why we went back to the Mega Man Game Boy font. I already know why. The little light bar. There's actually a really good reason for it. I know you're interested in hearing it. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, once it does something like that, it, it doesn't work anymore. The game's over. You don't get much energy. Well... They're pretty generous, but it's not enough to uh, make this a working run. I'm probably going to lose this life as well. Mm, yes. But interesting to know if the Game Boy life bars are there because of the sprite limit. If you notice, the life bars at the top left usually flicker sometimes and there's yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. But with all those lasers going around the screen and being shot around, that would kill the sprite limit. So the life bars down there somehow actually managed to negate them, which is impressive. I also noticed that, this is kind of late, but you failed to mention that in Dive Man stage, that had 8-way, like, full up and down horizontal scrolling in the same screen. No NES Mega Man game did that. That only happened in later titles. Wait, what? Did you go through that laser? Yeah. I don't understand anymore. My life's been alive. Or is that the grazing mechanic that I'm supposed to like? That would explain everything, actually. Wildly start this car in your, your yard. Mm. Uh oh. Look at all them lasers. You're somehow dodging this. <laughs> Suicide. Worth a shot. It was a valiant last effort to make to not lose his sanity. Oh, if you had a weapon selected, that would have been much better. You yeah, another thing, your E tank would have been really great. That probably filled one of the ones you didn't want it to fill. <laughs> Actually, at this point, anything's good. Anything that... Why didn't you use the wire, come to think of it? That... Hold the thought. <laughs> I just thought of that too, I was like, hey wait. This wire gonna hurt Wily. Yes, <laughs> it does one damage. Well, well, we'll use it in a pinch, I guess, right? Yeah. When you run out of everything else, we'll use wire. Okay, Toad does nothing. Ring if it works. I wouldn't recommend holding it out, though. I think that consumes more energy than it's worth for this. I think Wily's got like an extended period of hit stun, slightly more than a normal enemy. Unlike any boss in this game, but it's just a point out. You almost completely dodged that. See, you're impressing here. This is pretty good. What? <laughs> Okay, you cannot lose this recording now. Not after those. There. That would just be an utter shame. I think we'd take one more E-Tank at least. 
Uh, I wouldn't. I don't think it would hurt. All right. Yeah, because the rest of the recording of that one, it, it, uh, I was just losing out too badly. Oh, that was a video cut. Uh, no, with uh, how the rest of the run was going, I was losing hell too badly, and I hadn't even taken up one of his bars left. Or yeah. one of his bars yet. I don't think you should edit any of that, because that was a pretty impressive dodge. Oh, there's, none of this is going to be edited out. It's going to be a stupid long recording. Well, yeah, because you can't edit out this. This is like part of the experience. It's almost like you shouldn't edit it. It's not like dying in a simple area or an easy spot because you forgot something. It's like, this is, you got to feel the pain. Oh my goodness gracious. You see, like, usually I just get hit by everything because I really don't care in this fight. That's why I have, like, 90, 10 to, like, 7, and I blow all the gear. Because the other parts aren't really that hard. I think if you cancel, you can cancel out some of his shots. I don't remember how. There probably is a way. But it makes me wish something like the Jewel satellite was in this game. Yeah. Because... That was an unintentional death, but it pretty much just happened. Oh, well, look at that. There we go. We're Good to go now. Okay, I think that's uh, uh, enough uh, <laughs> enough dying intentionally in order to get everything back up the level. We have 70 tanks now. 70 tanks, 5 lives still left. That's 12. All together. Yeah. Math. Anyways, I was thinking. Yeah. Rhetorical question. Well, not rhetorical, but... Since we can't really talk about this fight anymore, we've kind of explored all the venues for it. What do you think is better, 9 or 10 for Mega Man? I'd probably say 10 just because I really enjoy... Drat, cornered. Really enjoy the uh, Rockman Killer inclusions. Well, I think what, what made 10 really good to me was that the levels were better integrated on the harder difficulties. They weren't just, like, add a few enemies here and then make the boss still as easy. They, the hard difficulty felt hard. You had more characters, the levels felt a bit better, the weapons weren't as good as they were in 9, which is okay with me, but it might take off some people, I guess. The, no, I know 10 had, like, just the one good weapon I remember, one of the... Best. Okay, this is a much better run at this point. Oh, yeah. Wow, you dodged that one, you grazed that one. I hate to say that. I hate the turret okay. like that, because I don't like total. One second, a tank. There was one weapon in 10 that I remember using. Okay, now he's going with BS powers. <laughs> well, I try to remember a weapon that I used to make it from 10. Was that a, I think it was sword. But that's because I had a really good spread on it and it did a lot of damage. But it used too much energy to be really that useful. Okay, I just realized Pharaoh Shot does nothing at this point. Oh, really? It bounces it off? Yeah, it just bounced off harmlessly. <laughs> Kevin, why leave why? Why? That's so nasty. God damn it. I think this is the only part of the game that you were worried about. Okay. He's got one shot left. And as funny as it would be using the wire the uh, wire adapter, no, we're just gonna kill him. I forgot he has a second life Oh, he has three? Crap. <laughs> I thought he just had two for that one. The dreams have now been broken. Oh my god. Well, at least I got an extra one up. This is what's really gonna, less than ideal now. What's gonna take longer, the labyrinth or this? Let's find out. Hopefully the labyrinth, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hope so, too. But yeah, please use the wire for the last hit of the creature. I would love you a long time if you use wire. Oh my god. Well, that barely missed. That hit. Honestly, you're doing pretty impressive maneuvers. Considering this is Mega Man and not Toho. I think you can walk through those lasers while they spin around. Not those ones, but the large ones. Or like slide through them or something. I don't remember. I don't care for this fight that much. I think this is like my least favorite one in this game. Not because it's not intense, but because it's just not fun. Nope, it will hit you. Was it while it was spinning or while it was idle? Uh, both. Oh, yeah. I don't know, you did it before, you like walked right through it at one point. I probably just got a very lucky hitbox. 
I would say at a certain point of the spin you can walk through it. I don't know though. But you freaking did it. I know it. I don't know. This, this fight sucks. That's the end of story. I can't explain anything in it. Nothing in this fight makes sense. Here we go. Okay, this is his actual health bar now. You didn't have three at all. You just miscalculated this first one. Alright. Which is completely no. You have one hit. Oh. He, he would probably uh, do one shot me at that point anyway, even with the skull on me land handy. Oh yeah, because he shoots. Yeah. Oh, this part. <laughs> wow, you still dodging it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it explodes now? Oh my goodness. Oh, isn't this just special? Isn't this just a special fight? Don't you love it? <laughs> what? How do you dodge that? You just did for a few seconds. Whoa. Well, no, you oh don't. My God. That would... Yo, Wally just doesn't even care anymore. You might have to use the wire. <laughs> the wire. It's the wire. It's the wire. Dude, it's just the wire, it's all I can take. Dude, do it. Do the wire, wire. Aw. At that point, with how quickly he was taking half health, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> oh, and now we enter. uh. this. Skype, Skype screen lag, Bill. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, it's lagging. On my end. It's okay, I can still see what's going on. Oh, God, Skype does not like this. It doesn't know how to handle this. <laughs> no! Skype was like you're playing Mega Man on Alien 3. I was thinking Contra myself. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. You're just like right at this fight. This is ironically the hardest platforming part of this level I would give it. Oh, no. Actual wait, I'll get a health back. This is worth dying at, actually. Yeah, just die. Not to mention I just died anyway. Just come to the blob. That made it worth it. A tricky tank. Thankfully, no rematch with Wily. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to see that again anyways. And then the Skype dies again. But yeah, this, this part of the game is kind of weird. And we're basically playing Contra now. This is from Contra? It feels like something on the last few stages of Contra, actually, yeah. Could be a reference, because... Ouch. Yeah, the Wait, oh my god! You hit the spike with your head. Oh, what protected you? Is it the shadow thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it no matter what protects you from that. Why aren't you healing? Oh, Where's Rush? We don't get Rush till just before the boss gate. Oh, I see. You find him in Alien Land here? Yep. God. This, this part's actually hard. I'm gonna give it credit because everything does massive damage here. Everything. Yep. Every hazard. I think the game now just wants to give you one-ups in general, just so you finish this section. Yeah, basically the spikes you already know do a lot of damage because you got the shadow thing on, but the the enemies here take off quarters of your health bar, the blood takes off, I think, half. I won't want to test that theory. I don't think my, my lead wants to test that theory, and frankly I don't blame him. But yeah, this segment is very difficult. This, if you fall there, it will be uh, basically equivalent of a spike. Crap, crap. I think any. Why aren't you healing? Why? There's been nothing really to heal with, and I don't want to use an A tank just yet. Especially if they do this again. I don't think there's a boss that's coming up, though. I think it's like. Oh, uh, no, I can't see it. Have you beaten this before, or did you just go this far in the practice run? To be honest, I didn't even do Wily Capsule in the practice run. Oh, so this is all new to you. Uh, I purposely left the last stage or two as a kind of a blind run. I know what's coming up, but it doesn't make it any easier. Wait, you know the ending of the game and everything? Give or take, yeah. Damn it. I was hoping it would surprise you. 
Well, yeah, unfortunately, I uh, watched it by accident. I don't know, I've seen it before, too. But I mean, honestly, it's, it's like pseudo blind. Like, you haven't played it. No, I haven't played it. But you've seen it. I don't know who showed you. It's probably me, but... Yeah, this part... This part sucks. I hate it. Oh, there is one part you might use an E-Tank on later, I think. But that part's, I think, timed it. I do remember, but I don't want to say it. To not lie. I don't want to spoil it. It's cool. Oh, no, right. I think a wire balloon adapter will. Less... Oh, damn it. Taking too much damage here. This, this section sucks, sucks, for real. Well, it sucks, sucks but it's hard. It's, it's not as unfair as the wire balloon. Also, oh, doesn't something show up here for Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy? Yeah, that enemy on the ceiling. He bubbles from the Venus stage, was it? What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There was a hole there. <laughs> oh, you died! Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, unfortunately, beats uh, automatic lifts lift you straight back into the pit if you fall in the wrong section of it. <laughs> See, your first problem is you said this run's going particularly well. That's the first problem. Well, no, the, the Wily ride... Right, right, basically, Wily, it was going well. Yeah, now it's lagging really bad, but I can still commentate, basically, because I know where you are. Theoretically, I know the stage enough to tell you that it's really bad. Really a nasty section in general. If I've said this enough times already, I'm going to hammer it into the audience's head because it really is nasty. I think what gets me on it, though, is the enemies, really. The hazards aren't, like, the biggest problem with the platforming, but it's mainly the enemies because they're placed in a way that makes them really, really, really put you near a hazard if you want to get rid of them optimally. And yes, the bubbles on the ceiling do come to life. They are pretty much replicas of the enemy from Mega Man 5, which was in Venus' stage. Am I right? I'm pretty sure they are. Yep. Because this game... Oh, wait, you get rid of the blood droplets of that! Yep, I just remembered about that. I didn't know you could actually... I didn't know you could do that! I didn't know the blood droplets actually disappeared if you got rid of them with the toad... ...or hit with the toad weapon. That's actually a neat little fact I didn't know. In fact, there are also various elements from Venus' stage, if, if, if it's just arbitrary background, they don't really affect the game like they would in Venus' stage. Because the bubbles you're seeing right now on the ground would normally bounce you around, but here they don't. Now this is the problem, is I would want to use the balloon just to cheat through this section, but I don't get it. Use the wire! It's gonna be a pretty clutch jump. Or not. <laughs> Alright. That kind of reminded me of the claw shot from Twilight Princess, actually. Okay, everything is coming at me now, even in what appear to be the foreign meteors. Alright. I don't think there's any ceiling hazards. I, I just killed it, so uh, it yeah, won't appear. Any ceiling hazards are effectively nullified in the total limit. And water physics, just because... What else does this level need? Water, obviously. Yes, quite, quite frankly, frankly enough, this level is indeed the epitome of nasty and awful. Nope. Dr. Wily is a mean-spirited person. That's a really tough jump to make without any assistance, by the way. No. Well, my, well, consider, well, it's not my, it might not be hard so much as it is nerve-wracking because you're so far in and you know you're going to mess up. So just use the wire or the balloon if you have it. Now, this would normally be a pretty hard section, but... That looks, that looks like, like a pit. pit. Like, like what you were just above looks, looks like a pit. It was, well, it, you'd think it was, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah it, it looks, looks like, like background, background tiles. tiles. Now, now here is the top part. part. This, this is, is where you really, really choke, because, because you can't even use the wire. Uh, this would have been a balloon room. Well, now. Here we go! go. I believe. Uh, uh, oh. Are you nervous? Use the E-Tanks to do it. Please don't die here. 
Oh, this is like right near the end. This is the nastiest part of this level. Oh, yes, Pete. Oh, okay, we made it. Okay, you did it. I think. I think most of the actual difficult parts of this are over. Oh, I think I know where you find rush right now. I know it. That corner tile right there, right? Yeah. Damn it! Why didn't I notice that in my place? Oh man, he's trapped in a place like that. Rush is tired at this point, so he's not gonna be much help. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm a bit behind now. The stream on the sky is behind a little bit, but not too much. Yeah. You officially flying. rescued all the animals. We have defeated the alien, and now the last silly kind of bonus fight. Although you could win this one fairly. Let's see how far I can get. Oh yeah, it is possible. It's just very, very hard. Don't you get the powers back as you kill them though? Nope. They're all a little small. I thought that The game is lagging the boot. Yeah, no, it didn't work. No, it failed, but the caustic cluster, which might be a reference to Mega Man comic, web comic, I don't know. Effectively, if you uh, can't beat these uh, miniature versions of bosses in a timely fashion, the game will uh, give you one less chance to uh, get through by giving you what is actually dubbed the Wily Buster, a prototype weapon that uh, Wily was making that Cossack had the blueprints handy for. So now, now it is officially dubbed the Cossack Buster because he made it. I don't know if it's a reference to the webcomic I'm thinking. But a lot of people say I've heard it is, and I'm not sure. Bob and George, I don't know. That's yes. what I heard. And now for the last part, which is the literal uh, escape sequence of the game. <sighs> yes. I'm, I'm kind of behind. I'm at the red alert part right now. Yeah. Oh, oh crap. crap. Mega Man. Unfortunately, yeah. Mega Man has become, or Dwight has become genre savvy. I like, I like how Mega Man, Man kind of misses the jump, jump too. At the start there, all right. This, this is, is a very difficult segment that requires mastery of the hell wheel and how it works. Because it has its own unique set of physics. You've got to basically do everything perfect. If you slide on a ramp, you actually fall lower. Did you know that if you slide on a ramp, you'll fall lower. So if you have to do like a ramp and you're got to fall low, slide on it. Yep. So like, like those ramps where the spikes are like right above them, them slide yeah. as you're going up them and you should go down not too far. That one. Effective mastery of the hell wheel is required. Not like effective, not effective. It's like you have to know how this weapon works exactly. And you can't even use E tanks. So basically you've got to master this segment yeah. with the set of lives you have. I'm gonna admit, if I'm gonna cheat at any point in this run, it's gonna be at this point. Oh, you can't. Don't, Don't do, do it, man. Don't, Don't go, go to the, the dark, dark side. side. Oh, you forgot to slide. Yeah. It is a very <laughs> difficult part. Yeah, the problem is there's this, there's the delay in my controls. You have a controller delay? Yep. Which makes every sliding part a nightmare. Is it the, the controller, controller or the game? game? I can't tell exactly, to be honest. It might be a slight latency thing, but I think every Mega Man game has a different slide. Which is why sliding in general is a really hard mechanic to grasp. You're trying to do it. That, that right there is nasty. This right here is <laughs> yeah. Oh, this, this is the hardest part. So if you think the game's over, and then the game's not over. Also, also, if you, you notice, notice the music, music I think, is a reference to Kirby Superstar, where you're escaping the hell. Uh-oh. Wily, no! And I can't pause, so I can't check that. Dr. Wily! Dr. Wily's evil flaw. <laughs> Calling you while he's running away, isn't he? Probably. <laughs> he, he knows. This is a very hard segment. 
And if you have a delay like you say you do, I can only imagine your pain. <laughs> can you actually run out of lives here? I should have run out of lives already at this point. You, oh, you have to. I don't that, know. My command is sliding, but it's not actually working. That, that makes, makes this the hardest part of the run. <gasps> Oh, dear. Alright, one second. No, no don't, don't do it. Yes, right. hold on a second, one second. I'm going to temporarily pause the recording. I uh, just got to answer something on the phone. <laughs> yeah, well, might as well. This is going nowhere fast. Be right back. Alright. Da, 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 da. Wiley. That was such a bad way to start. Oh, whatever. I'm satisfied. At least I know I don't feel alone in not being able to do this very well. It took a while, but my recording tonight did this game work out. Yep. Oh my god. Why I technically should be dead already. The other hour of this, uh, the other half an hour of this, this uh, video. Yep. <laughs> the other half an hour segment. Beyond the Labyrinth. Yeah, I don't think the game much will do to you. To be fair, I wouldn't want to either. Yeah, this is already a failed run. What? They're gonna save the record on. I hope you don't mind it being a failed run because I would hate to have this start over again. Granted, I wouldn't mind completely. I have to laugh all day. Man. All the time in the world today. Okay, we're making it sort of. But you still have that daunting time to worry about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know what else to say about this section. I mean, I kind of nailed all the bases. We know the first part very well. <laughs> oh yes, it doesn't help you at all, but... <laughs> yep, that one, I'm in size. I've memorized this. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, you're gonna slide. Oh, wow. Please tell me at least after that point it's very close. Uh, not quite sure. I would love to check, but at the same time, I don't really feel like checking. I don't want to miss the ending. Because this segment is quick when, when it's all really? set. It's egregoriously fast. Slide there. Oh, well, the. If you don't slide, then you don't... You, if you don't slide, you die. Basically. Yeah, it becomes mandatory, not just sort of a thing you do to avoid damage. No, it's a thing you do to avoid death. Which sucks for you. I think they give you infinite lives in this section, actually. Oh, well, I'm not particularly sure I blame them. It's like, at this point, if you get this far, it, we'll, we'll give you one. It's a gimme. It's a gimme, you just gotta keep going. It's like, all you have to do, you just have to reach the end. It's the last part. Have fun. You can spend the rest of your life here. Maybe. Uh, huh? I would not, no. This is a serious, 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 difficult thing. Now, I slide it that time. What the hell happened? Well, you gotta slide and then you gotta make a jump and you gotta slide. I don't know. I don't remember the order for that. It was complicated last I checked. Or Eddie, where are you? I spared you for a reason. <laughs> Help me out here. That was not supposed to be a slide. That was supposed to be a slide. I see this is going swimmingly so far. <laughs> Mega Man should have learned how to block spikes with his face at this point. <laughs> Why can't Mega Man crawl? Oh man. Here we go. Come on, you can do it. 
I believe. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Uh, just one of those segments. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, now I know you did. Well. I'm out of actual discussion comments. Related to this. When it comes to something in relation to this, I have nothing to say. Uh, yeah, it's, we kind of run the well on this one. It explains itself very clearly without us even. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're going to slide. Are they sure they can't give me an E-tank here? No. Or two? Twelve? Wouldn't it be nice to have an E-tank to use? <laughs> well, unfortunately all those E-tanks you ordered actually went to waste. You were very, very conservative with them, and I, I, I told you, man, what's it going to pay off? Oh well, what's done is done. All I would have shaved is like maybe a few minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh, I yeah, just got comboed. Of, there's a lot of fast sliding segments, so I don't know. You may be SOL. There may never be an ending. <laughs> this LP ends here. It's bit... like there was an escape, just not in this video. What? Another 30 minute video of an escape. No, it's a creative uh, director's cut. Oh, yes. Are we actually going to edit this out, or no? Uh, it depends on how long it honestly goes. Well, Maybe keep some of the funnier commentary in, but that's about it. We ended, we started at, I think, 140-something at this segment. And, I don't know, I don't remember when this started. I can safely say if it hits 210 on the Skype call, I'll know this has been going on for far too long. Although I get the feeling it's already has been. Wiley, just dost thou long for deliverance? Train part on uh, some other stuff. I actually did a test with uh, some slow mo added in there, just to see if there was any issue with the emulation. Yeah, actually, it turned out to be the case. What? Uh, the controls, at least. Uh, the uh, FCE here doesn't seem to uh, correspond too well with the Radio Shack PS PlayStation adapter that I have here. That's oh. why this is ha we're having so much fun right now. Yeah, see, I, don't, I keyboard it, so that's why I get the most responsive control. Because I feel like if you're going to play a PC game, you might as well learn how to use the keyboard. Because you don't get any delay at all. And if it is there, it's the, the least amount you can get. But whatever. Yeah. I'm almost half tempted just to see what happened if I put slow-mo on there, just to see what... Everything bad. Everything. I imagine at that point the controls would suddenly magically improve. I get the feeling if you put this game in slow motion you'd be able to do this. This part would be significantly easier if it wasn't this fast. Yeah. Because at this Another point, I think three. even though I did switch off the Mad Cats controller, there's just... There's a delay here. If we could switch this into Smash Bros. for all speed, we'd be able to get this done. No offense to Brawl, I enjoy it, but you know, slow. Oh god, careful! Hey, not a single scratch there. And then I talked. Oh well. You're learning it. Slowly. The thing is, I know what the pattern is up to this point, it's just getting the controls to cooperate with me. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Best grab your popcorn. You might be ready for some fun bits! How entertaining. You know, you gotta explain something to me. How do you keep your poker face when you do stuff like this? Did you rarely even chuckle? Is it like... This is not a laughing matter at this point. Are you, are you kind of like... Are you like the, the, like the master of acting, or am I... Am I just an easily entertained person? I don't know. Could, could it be both? Uh, after one or two times, I'm actually going to purposely put on a slow-mo setting just to see what happens. Okay, I, you know, why not? Let's have the most fun we can with this, because at this point it's beginning. <laughs> oh, you made that jump! <laughs> Holy sh... Aw. Okay. You made that one jump that you always get hit from, and then you hit like the... Oh. 
You know how depressing that was? That's like watching Mega Man just lose all hope. I keep thinking you're getting hit because of all those explosions flashing. Yeah, it, there's some slow mo on top of everything else. It's just, uh, this is. This is the, unfortunately, this is honestly the least fun part of this experience. I, I'd like to know, is your control happen over all the layers, or is it just with sliding? It, a bit of everything, but it's easy, most noticeable during sliding. Sliding has always been a problem during this run. And it's really just limited to this emulator, as far as I can tell. What, what version of FCE you got? 2.2? 2.15. Uh, it just, it doesn't play nice with uh, this old Radio Shack uh, adapter here. You have an old version of it. You should be having using 2.21. 2.2.1. Hmm. You're well, very, very far behind. Hindsight 2020. Okay. In hindsight, you're very, It should very be... Far. Well, I'm using a 2.1.5 at the moment. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. It doesn't matter. I noticed beforehand there was a delay in the emulation as a whole on this particular ROM hack when I was using an actual older version of it. The MMC3 one? Uh, oh, FCE, right. Yeah, different older, an older version of FCE at this point. I don't know, this ROM hack is pretty advanced, but it usually runs pretty well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oddly enough, it's just something I seem to experience with this emulator as a whole, I don't know. Yeah, FCE UX 2.2 has got a lot more stability, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure if it does controller inputs any better. Da, 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 da. Let's see. I just talk about unrelated stuff now at this point because I mean, just, just, no. <laughs> you just know. Matt, where are you? <laughs> well, now Wait, you this, is, this is a lost run, basically, isn't it? Oh yeah, the timer. <laughs> no way. There's no way to beat the timer now. Okay. You know, one second. Yeah, okay, first, stretch out the fingers a little bit. Oh, this is the most unintentionally long recording you're gonna yeah. have. Yeah, uh, I'm saving the stage just so it's the start of it. <clears throat> One second. Yeah, you're not save stating periodically through, so. No, this is basically the last stage straight was at the start of Wiley One. What I meant by that is like you're not gonna save state further into this little. Oh no, it, it's gonna be a clear run. Well, just it's clear. We're, we're just gonna at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the game, honestly, it's going to be tedious, but it's effectively one. Uh, I, I'm just kind of screwing around a bit right now. Optimization of the speed when, in which you respawn is basically yeah. what the save stage just did. Because yeah. nobody wants to... It's like a few seconds, but it'll shave off yeah, a lot of time. Yeah. At this point, I'm pretty sure I've died at least 30 times. Yeah, it'll shave off a lot of time, given the rate of death probably is going to increase. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I... Man, that was weird. Do and there was turbo. a pause button. Okay. Do it on turbo. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, this looks a lot more manageable. All of a sudden, this looks really easy. I haven't actually... It hasn't adjusted the speed at all, actually. Oh, wait. For some reason, the buttons are not working. I think it's a curse. Oh, damn it, Dr. Wiley, why? Ugh. Yeah, no, it's not acknowledging the speed at all. <laughs> I think uh, it might be the uh, settings of the... Uh, one second, I better hit plus a few times. I think it's actually adjusting settings on the recording program, not the actual emulator right now. So why don't you just click the slow down thing on the prompt? Yeah. It's like, where did I see that thing again? Uh, it was in a file, wasn't it? Go down and file. Oh, emulation speed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what does yeah. minus do for your program exactly? Uh, wow. We are now moving at the speed of bro. <laughs> I'm getting like comboed. Watch, it's like watch there's combos in bro. I didn't know that. I figured you could just dodge under the hit stuff. Oh. oh wow. Isn't this a lot more impressive when it was... No! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, well, no matter. No. 
I'm Rolling moving in slow motion to everyone's rescue. Got places to like we should put Sonic music in. I might have to do that, yes. Only play the Sonic music in slow motion. Oh yeah. This is quite entertaining though. For all the wrong reasons, yes. That's it's morbidly entertaining. You have to cheat. Wow, now the controller is responding very well. How fun. All of a sudden you realize that the reflexes of a saint are required. Well, not a saint, like a master gamer. Oh yeah, you got to avoid those high ramps too, because they also punch you into the... Oh god, go! No! No, don't slide there! No, don't be a fool! Oh no! Crap. Like I said, I haven't played through that part <laughs> in a bit, so uh. You haven't played through it at all! Yeah, that's true. Uh, I. Technically, through a video, I should know what I'm looking at here, but I don't. You're bewildered. Dude. This is just silly now. I'm this enjoying it a lot more now. I'm still dying, but at least it's funnier. It's slow-mo. For some reason, it's more entertaining to watch like this. But I think that's just because I know of the whole problem. <laughs> Technical issues make this a reality, don't they? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, uh, I just got comboed. Oh. Two hits. You're all of a sudden making these jumps really good though. <laughs> Why'd you slide into that? Oh no. <laughs> You're dead. Again. The controllers are better now. Not perfect, but better. <laughs> Some of them is just manual error at that point, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this shouldn't be as entertaining as it is. When you just goof, you goof. As simple as that. <laughs> I feel like you're not going to feel that sense of accomplishment at this point though. Uh, at this point, knowing what I know about the controls, I don't care anymore. I really <laughs> don't. It's over. The run... No, the optimization is gone. Give me, okay, give me a minute. Somebody's knocking at the door. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep recording. Hopefully, this won't be the road that gets through. Because that would suck while you're still out there. Any progress. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to see the lack thereof. Let's go. Oh, 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 I'm so hyped. Ah. Uh, that was not supposed to be a full fledged run, was it? Not for that one. Alright, we're learning though. Oh, we're very slowly learning. Yeah. I might have to re record this one last try to a higher speed. You know, you can do that with me too. I don't. That'll be a separate video, I'm gonna be honest, on that one. Oh, what? Oh. This is going up first, I hope. Yeah, this one will go up long before that one. <laughs> long! I like how you emphasize long. We'll do this legit one day. Maybe not with me, maybe with me, I don't know. It depends. There's a few factors, one of which is... I don't know. Oh, come the on. Rate of, the rate of biome degradation. <laughs> Did you notice the spike shape out a skull at the beginning of that section there? It's a good, it's a good metaphor. <sighs> I just don't know anymore. Well, you said an hour and a half. It is 2.10 now, 2.11. <laughs> I think this is the longest part. Yep, easily. This is longer than the... The labyrinth, which I was expecting to be the nightmare portion of this run. No, not at all. Now, the labyrinth is actually pretty smooth, ladies and gentlemen. The labyrinth was actually pretty entertaining because it had things going on. It's just well, not me repeatedly dying on the same... percent speed. 
No, let's talk about Smash U. Why not? Mega Man said it. Why the hell not? Actually, I, I did mention uh, I passed by the game 2.0 exhibit over at the Ontario Science Center. Yeah. Have a demo of it? Unfortunately, uh, they didn't have any uh, demo of uh, the new Smash, but they did have uh, Melee playable there. They actually had a bunch of old stuff there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna die! Oh, oh. It starts auto scrolling. Yeah, that's curious. What, what I what yeah. I mean. It's just sad with a couple of people I went with. It's like, oh, I've never seen some of this stuff there. Referring to not even really old stuff, but like uh, Atari 5200s and 2600s. And like, yeah, I, I own that. I own that too. I remember at least renting some of this stuff out. Like, like seriously? You guys are making me feel real old right now. Uh, well, what I, what I do know about the Wii U is that it's finally starting to show why it was worth purchasing. That's just, just the Smash, Smash Bros. That's not even the selling point. I think it's Mario 3D World. Or what else? Maybe, maybe Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Well, not maybe Donkey Kong. Definitely Donkey Kong. That's that one. I went to the most recent Wii U game coming out, I'm pretty sure, that I'm interested in. <laughs> it's coming this November. Mario Luigi Dream Team shows why you should buy a 3DS, although I think a few other games have shown that before that game. Drat. Yep. No, they're definitely getting a better lineup at this point. It, it's unfortunately taking too long to get there. The Wii U? Oh, I think it's finally started. No. I mean, Jesus, man, they take their time. I think that might be their only real issue today, is that Nintendo just takes its time too much. Well, not really it takes too much of its time, but it doesn't really plan ahead for this kind of thing. I think, I don't know if they were expecting such a slow start. I think they expected more sales. But that's okay. They're, they're fine. Nintendo died when blah 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 blah. You can tell me modern Nintendo sucks all you want, I don't think so. I think they're doing just as good as they did before. Unfortunately, dated hardware apparently gives people more generous opinions. Wow, not a scratch. Fantastic, here we go. Never mind. I lied to you. Wow. That was good. Here we go. Please don't die. It's a 50% speed. It's like 2 in the afternoon. Don't, don't do it. Do it. On last slide. Or not. Oh, I think I have to jump over that ramp. Whatever. I think I just made it with uh, 2 seconds to go. Well, okay, let's, let's get this out of there. Uh, now it looks more impressive, doesn't it? Oh, it's pretty cool. Oh, oh, that's what happens if you rescue Rush. Because if you don't rescue him, you actually run into him with the Hell Wheel, actually. Yeah. Which I think looks cooler, but whatever. Hey, ladies and oh, gentlemen, uh, with tons of cheating involved at the end, <laughs> because of uh, in order to compensate for controller mishaps and uh, just issues, this is what it looks like. When the the long national nightmare is over, <laughs> definitely a skull. There goes your Kirby Superstar ripoff section of the game. That's how they decide to end with a chase, which realistically you need to use something that's a that has no latency issues. It won't work. Oh, and there's the result of uh, the one of the game's secrets. That was Frogman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, really? Oh, well, that. That frog, Jummy Frog, was Frogman, who appears beside the train. Toad Man, it's Toad Man. Don't get, don't get Why am I saying, I am so tired, I don't care what his name is anymore. Don't get my favorite robot man. Toad Man, what I meant to say, ladies and gentlemen, Toad Man, uh, if you kill him using his own weapon, will appear as a toad, just uh, hopping along the train there. <laughs> but I think you have to also avoid killing him in the boss yeah. gauntlet, right? You have yeah. to not only use his own weapon against him, in this case the uh, modified, uh, the well, the brand new, really, Toad spell, you have to be able to get to his uh, weapon icon without killing him, and you'll leave the room without, with him still in there, and uh, somehow he survives the explosion. Yep. Bye, Russia. We're gonna still leave on this train back to. Uh... Apparently, this is a transatlantic. Who knows? Wait, Ma uh, Mega Man's in America, isn't he? 
Well, Man. Japanese, really. Not a thing, but they don't... They kind of imply it's supposed to be in Japan, but they never really give a good location of where uh, Dr. Light is actually uh, stationed. Well, this is going westward of Russia, right? Yeah. If you go by uh, what you see in the Mega Man 2 ending, it seems to be kind of an, uh, a rural Asian area, that much I'm sure. And there goes a prop top that, if you go by the ending, is insinuated to eventually become a Gyro Man. Really? Yep. Yeah, uh, don't you recall that the very hit before the uh, game, before the, uh, what's the word I'm looking at, the uh, point screen, which shows your battle score? Yeah. They show uh, Eddie and uh, Beat just messing around with each other, and they get interrupted by a shadow of something that just teleports out of nowhere. It starts off looking as a prop top, but then the frame quickly changes to Gyroman's silhouette. Yes, yeah, the best robot master, master ever. Yeah. Anyways, you're the credits. We're gonna talk over them because you can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, overall opinion of this game, it was incredibly fun, but insanely difficult at points and there are some sections where you really do need absolutely tight controls that unfortunately sometimes emulation just doesn't work well with. I imagine and only one draw. Yeah. <laughs> one draw. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Good good, good, good going. going. Yeah, I have uh wait, 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 wait. wait. We're gonna see how many times, times Real Man killed you. Twice. twice. Yeah. It was only twice? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. You did better than you thought. I think this guy got one kill on you. Oh, wait. I, I remember it had to be more in the original recording, but because of an accidental uh, uh, save state issue, <laughs> it caused problems. Ring man, there he is. I actually had to re record the first few Robot Masters. Well, doesn't matter. Does it? I like how it also shows what weapon you used on him last, too. So, whatever weapon you used on him last will show up in the shot. So I did the Mega Man 4 original weakness chain of mine. In other words, I didn't really do much damage via weakness. Because I was a masochist, and I was like, let's do Toad Man first. Yeah, Toad Man first is not a great idea. It's not, but it's more entertaining. Oh. You see, yeah, he got you once. He, I saw that. I, I, I think they counted the, the rematches as well. That would explain it. Yeah. Dive in. He killed you that one time. Skullman got you once too. Yeah. Every match. A week later. Oh crap! Uh, it's been more than a week, ladies and gentlemen. If you count the runs. <laughs> if you count all the deaths, it's probably been longer. Actually, this makes sense all of a sudden. All the scrap metal from all the broken Mega Men is what Wiley used in order to rebuild his next batch. Oh yeah. There we go. My horrible gameplay was for the purpose. We needed to make stuff for the sequel. I like how Mega, Mega Man shakes hands upside down. down. It's either Cossack doesn't know how to shake a hand, uh, Mega Man doesn't know how to shake a hand. Either way, something's wrong there. Are you ready to see the total staff that worked on this hand? Now, this is what's the most impressive part of it. There are like, I think, there is like no more than 10 people. Probably less than 10, probably less than 5, or even 6 people did this. Yet, ironically, that's probably as big, if not uh, a little bigger than what would have been on the original NES uh, production team. To, or at least the ones actively working on the program. Or game. Yeah. NES uh, squads are notoriously small. Oh yeah, but... Yeah. Hell, even uh, Mega Man 2 itself was uh, just literally built over the first engine. It's, you could consider it a Mega Man 1.5, really. And it was just done in the spare time while they're working on other projects. This game basically equates to somebody doing something that development teams never did. They, he, he's done the scrolling in Mega Man, the stuff that you can never see in a Mega Man game. Yeah. I don't know what the TIWNS is. I, I'm assuming it's deaths. Which, even then, that seems like a bit much for some of these stages. Oh, look, we're gonna see the count, we're gonna see the death count. If that's the death count, then uh, if it shows for the last stage, it will be obscene. Oh, that would be <laughs> I would imagine if you see triple digits, it's with the reason. I think I might have seriously died at least. Did you die in the toxic level number two once? Uh, accidental death, I think. Yep. yep there is involving death. spikes, I believe. Yeah, it's death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it was stage three. That's one where it was really spikes most of the time. 
Oh, here we go. We're getting to the death. Oh, these are the neat rushed out products. That explains the uh, unpainted uh, robots. Machine Man. I still call them yeah. Machine Man. Final Force? Uh, that, that ain't right. Eleven? No! It doesn't count the last <laughs> rush section. Oh, well, that's good because. <laughs> that, uh, Oh, three hours? hours? No. Well, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They must count the time still, though. Clearly. Mm -hmm. So it keeps track of the time, which means I'm going to get an abysmal time score. Giant but I imagine the rest of the items will be probably uh, topped up. <laughs> Jumping the death machine. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, ironically, uh, during this whole series, I was amping up to how deadly jumping is. And uh, once you get the robot master weapons, he's a walkover. He's a complete butcher over at that point. Joe Ninja. Yeah, that's the name of the uh, oversized Joe boss. Petite the robot master. They should really show pictures of these in the next update. Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah. Generally, uh, just to reiterate, uh, for uh, jumping the death machine, he has more health than a regular boss does on normal circumstances and of course in the faster stages he gets extra shots you can't run past him because if he bounces into you he will literally bounce you back way far further back than uh, normal meaning you can't just slide under him with invulnerability not that you normally could anyway just because your invulnerability uh, time has been severely decreased in this wrong hack Yo, oh, yes. which is I don't know. It, no, it was had to have been shaved, maybe take sh shave off a quarter, if not ha half, of the uh, invulnerability frames in this game. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was entertaining. That, that was, was almost, almost two and a half hours. hours. I, I can guess, guess a lot, lot of them. them. I don't remember spend. Yeah, a lot of the two and a half hours. Uh, if I crop out some bits, um, except for some uh, commentary, it's because of the uh, last Wily dash. He has. Uh, you need pinpoint. Sliding for that, and my control setup doesn't allow for that. No, no, it, no they're it, not it, good for that at all. It's a, uh, it really this is a uh, FCE. It's the only emulator I really have a problem with, uh, with latency bugs or latency issues with the controls. And you're not using the updated build, so that could also. Yeah, apparently there's an updated version that one are using. Maybe that might fix some things, but I don't know. And here we go. Oh, there you go, Let's see my final battle score. Playstyle, yeah, they cut off six of my points because I took too long. Oh, it's been a while, nigga, man. Also, the bonus, the only reason it's one right now is because not all the bonuses are done yet. Yeah. It's really, you can only get a top of one bonus. But you went to level whose boss had already beaten. I see you had some fight. When did you do that? But this isn't a value you will. I love this dialogue. That's a message I've never seen before in any video. Apparently the game judges you if you replay levels. Because uh, clearly, uh... Not, not bad. bad. It's still not bad considering the score. Generally, uh, with Proto Man's broken speech there, he will give you hints on uh, how to improve your score for later views. In the case if you miss any of the uh, friends, he'll give you a hint of where to find them. If you're missing any items, he'll comment on that. If you killed Eddie, there'll be a special commentary on that. And uh, if you miss the Toad Man's secret, he'll give you a hint of how to get that one. Proto Man's a goddamn lunatic. Anyways, there's more, and there will be more in an update because he's playing on adding like another mode or something. Like, holy frick! The only, well, the other mode doesn't even exist yet. Yeah, but it's like, jeez, if it's even planned, like that's huge. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Rockman 4 minus Minini in this stupidly long episode of uh, Retro Ninja Gaming. And despite the implication, no, there's not more. There, there's no more on this particular game, but in terms of what's going on with the show, of course there's going to be more coming up. Um, I haven't exactly decided which game I'm going for next, although while it's not really retro, because it's obviously not a newer system, the retro-style DuckTales Remastered is looking like a good bet. For something, if it's not going to be officially uh, Retro Ninja Gaming, I'm at least going to do a short run of Link playing through that, just because uh, it's generally a, a nice, fun uh, remake on the original DuckTales game 
for the NES. Better than the original. In my opinion. Technically, uh, in full confidentiality, I do have two episodes or two videos for that recorded already, so uh, I'm probably going to do it in one format or another, but uh, if uh, it's not on the next Retro Ninja Gaming, then it will definitely be uploaded at a later time as a. Uh, just kind of a supplemental thing on the side, kind of like what I did for uh, Hard Cards Uprising and such. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's, that's, that's all the rock. Uh, yep. <laughs> Unless, Unless it gets updated recently and then there's something, something come, come back, back and revisit, revisit what was updated. updated. Yes, perhaps someday, but not today. Oh, God. Not for the rest of this month, probably, either. No, please, please not 50% speed, speed, no! Yeah, we're not doing that again for a little bit. Forever. If we're revisiting it during the course of this year, I can't even promise that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, it's over. The dream is dead. All right. Uh, well, pretty much uh, more retro ninja gaming coming off after uh, at least a brief hiatus or a brief break while I figure out what I'm doing next. Uh, coming up later in this week uh, is the Fan Expo event in Toronto, Ontario, uh, August 22nd to the 25th. I will be there along with... Uh, 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 voice actor uh, DJ Dixon, also known as Chuck Dingo. Uh, we'll be doing some uh, video stuff on site at the convention center downtown. And uh, there'll probably be a few other things going on, which I just can't recall off the top of my head. You'll have to forgive me. My mind is a little fried now from constant sliding issues. <laughs> and don't worry, I won't be either. Yeah. So, of course, uh, Evil will be doing a bunch of things on his own end. Uh, anything you want to mention, Evil? Sonic Adventure, get that last part rendered finally. It's been at least two months, maybe one. Yeah. It's got Final part of that rendered out. Order a game and play it. Hopefully, the edgiest game I'm ever going to record. Hope. I, I, I want to say hope. But that's about it. All I can now say is occasional streams, updates. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Yeah. Well, uh, once again, uh, thanks for agreeing to come on for this. Now, at this point, we're officially at this point, we basically, we're just shy of two and a half hours on this particular recording. How long the uh, eventual upload will be, uh, it might be slightly trimmed, so uh, if it's slightly shorter on the video, you know why, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, don't, don't worry. worry. You, won't you won't miss, miss much, much. I yeah. uh, You know, you'll, basically, it'll just be trimming out uh, uh, some of the more or less entertaining failures on the uh, Superstar, or Kirby Superstar and Inspired last dash escape since well, it's, the it's, Wiley it's blatantly stolen off of a uh, uh, Revenge of Meta Knight mode from that game. Except Revenge of Meta Knight wasn't that hard. But that no, it was much easier. They actually borrowed some of the level layout, but then they filled it with spikes. The rest of what that was empty. Yup. Yep. So, to sign out, I suppose you should start out. Yep. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This has been another episode of Retro Ninja Gaming. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. And this has been me, a gloriously shining out. Adios, amigos.